Hello guys and welcome to a quick news recap about the Pokemon conference that literally just happened probably a couple hours ago. Um, this is only going to be like short stuff, I have a lot of notes uh, written down. And the biggest thing that I came out of it is Pokemon Sleep and no Sword and Shield news. But let, let's just get into it. So the first thing they announced was Detective Pikachu Switch. And that's all we know is that Detective Pikachu is coming to Switch and it's a mystery about everything. Um, that's what they treated about. Um, no release date, nothing. Is it coming in 2019? Is it coming in 2020? But I'm actually really excited. I didn't play Detective Pikachu on 3DS, so I'll probably buy on Switch. Um, the next thing that was announced was Pokemon Comb, which was um, it allows you to trade with your smartphone, um, 3DS, um, and Switch, and it allows you to like trade with people globally and locally. And it's a 2020 plan launch. And it kind of looks like a Pokebank for literally everything, 3DS, smartphones, and Switch, and probably the future platforms. Um, I think this is a good idea, it's all cloud-based and everything. And it allows you to trade with your smartphone, which is something that I don't think is a smart idea because that's obviously going to be hacked easily, but if it makes competitive battles easy or to get into on 3DS or on actually Switch, um, I won't be mad. Um, they mentioned the Pokemon Direct about waiting until then get Sword and Shield news, which is June the 5th at 7 a.m. I believe, 7 or 8 a.m. CST. I was wrong about the state, so I'm just an idiot and quickly calculated in my head. Now the next thing that was announced was Pokemon Sleep. Now it is literally an alarm clock for Pokemon Go. Well, it's an app by itself, but they pretty much incorporated it into Pokemon Go I believe. Um, it makes you want to wake up, quote unquote, and it wants to bring your time sl sleeping into gameplay, um, it's actually supposed to be healthy sleeping, so I'm guessing sleeping for um, 24 hours straight won't get you better stuff, but it's that's the only thing we know. And it launches 2020 actually. And actually, we know a little bit else, I forgot about this. The Pokemon Go Plus Plus, this is Intel with 14 nanometer. Uh, <laughs> it's hardware for Pokemon Sleep, it is a Pokemon Go Plus, as the name implies, that it's a Pokemon Go Plus Plus, so it's a plus on the plus. It's meme, I love it. Thank you, Pokemon. And it just tells you how long you've been sleeping, and they said other useful stats, but they didn't go into much detail about it, I believe. So, um, if for your Pokemon Go players, they announced that there would be a Snorlax effect going on. So, if you still play Pokemon Go, or if you just like Pokemon Go, I'm not saying it's a bad game, I just never got into Pokemon Go. But go catch a Snorlax. Snorlax is a really good Pokemon, in my opinion. But the next game for smartphone was announced from DNA. I believe it's DNA. Dina? I think DNA. Um, Pokemon Masters. It's the idea, the original idea of this was to include all previous Pokemon trainers from, well, previous games. And it will release on Android and iOS this year in 2019. And there will be more moves, or more news in June. <laughs> Sorry, I can't speak. Um, this looks interesting. They actually had a little trailer. I'll try to pop up on screen. Um, hopefully, they don't make this blocked in countries. Um, I doubt they will, but. And the final thing they announced was. Pokemon shorts featuring all original 151 mods, and I originally would be like, oh, this is more Kanto, um, pandering, but then I remembered that Eevee Lucians, the first three Eevee Lucians in Eevee, are in the original 151, so I'm not mad. So, um, I have the site, if I can find it, in the description, to make your own personal t-shirt featuring, um, mods from the original 151. And I was hoping, um, this would have went into the announcement about the t-shirt design being removed because the guy cheated. But they didn't, they lended at that, and I think it was actually pretty good. Um, I really wanted to see some more information about Pokemon Sword and Shield, but with the Direct coming up in like 7 days, I actually shouldn't have expected that, so I'm not that disappointed. I'm actually really surprised about the memes that came out of this, so I, I find these names memes. Pokemon Home, Pokemon Sleep, Pokemon Go++, Plus Plus. I love that. Pokemon Master sound normal, but what do you guys think of the Pokemon Conference of 2019? Um, I hope this was actually pretty good. I want to keep this really short. I compressed a decent direct in like five minutes, so that's great. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, you can like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment below, and I'll be covering more news on everything Pokemon related, other than mobile games probably, unless Pokemon Quest comes out, because uh, Pokemon Quest is a dope game. And if you do not play Pokemon Quest, stop doing what you're doing and get playing Pokemon Quest. But thank you, and goodbye.